Good morning. EDC wrapping up at the Speedway. The issues the winds caused overnight for the Electric Daisy Carnival. Plus, changes are happening across the valley and on freeways. What you need to know about the new HOV lanes before your Monday morning commute. And two children safe and a mother behind bars. The confusion surrounding who is taking care of the young kids. 8 News Now, the Valley's news leader, starts right now. Now, live, this is 8 News Now, Weekend Edition. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Orko Mana. The second night of the massive rave at the Speedway wrapped up this morning. Of course, we're talking about EDC. There were a few issues at the electric at the Electronic Daisy Carnival last night. The wind forced organizers to close one of the stages, but otherwise the party kept going. More than 150,000 people attend each night. Just after night one, Metro Police already made 25 felony arrests, but officers tell us no DUI arrests were tied to night one of the festival. The party wrapped up at dawn, which created a mess around the roads. Around the speedway, you can expect backups and delays around the spaghetti bowl, so if you have to be anywhere this morning, give yourself a little extra time and use surface streets. Again, it was a windy night at EDC and really all across the valley. Let's check in with Sally Jaramillo to see if those winds will stick around today. And Oracle, it's time to hold on to your hat and secure your loose items because we do have a wind advisory in effect for today. This morning, all the way to that 8 p.m. hour, we will see those west to southwest winds going 25 to 35 miles per hour, gusting possibly up to 50 miles per hour, higher for the mountains up to 60 miles per hour. You definitely want to watch out because difficult driving conditions will persist, reduce visibility, and of course, blowing dust also possible for today. Add to that, we could could see pollen forecast change. That ragweed could be going up to the high category. Trees and grass will stay low for today. Now with your Sunday, you're expected to see temperatures on the cooler trend. 71 degrees for that 3 p.m. hour. You also notice very strong wind gusts up in the 32 mile per hour range. And yes, the possibility of rain and thunderstorms will definitely persist for today. Now your forecasted highs for today also showing 71 degrees, much on the cooler trend. But coming up, we're going to be talking more of how long this this unsettled weather is looking to stay. Back to you. Well, a North Las Vegas mother is behind bars this morning after her two children were reported missing. 47-year-old Eloina Avalos Perez was arrested for child neglect after her daughters were found safe on Saturday after a more than 12-hour search. 8 News Now reporter Darlie Melendez has the details. It's like the boy who cried wolf type thing, you know? It's just Natalie Vega didn't want to show her face on camera, but she wanted to share her appreciation after her two young cousins were found after a day long search. Thank God that we found them. The six and nine year old sisters were reported missing Friday night. The search continued into Saturday afternoon, but ended when North Las Vegas police said the girls had been found. The woman captured on school surveillance cameras called police after seeing photos of herself online. She told police she had been asked. To watch them. My aunt, there was records that she did call this lady to watch the kids. She does not recall it. My aunt's messed up, I guess, you know, and, and it won't be happening again. 47 year old Eloina Avalos Perez was arrested after her daughters were found facing charges of child neglect. Vega tells us the girls were with Child Protective Services but were released to family members. They said the girls are just going to be staying with my aunt and my uncle and, and they're, they're in good hands. It's still unclear where exactly Avalos Perez was when her daughters were reported missing or why she doesn't remember asking someone to watch them. I'm not saying she's a bad person because she's not. She's she just unfortunately is not all there right now. But what's clear to Vega is her gratitude for her cousin's safety and the support from a community quick to help out. Thank you to everybody, everybody who, who helped pass out flyers, who shared it on Facebook, who, who, you know, just was concerned, who prayed everything. And then Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now. Avalos Perez is held on two charges of child neglect. Her first court date has not yet been announced. And we're on the other side of a key deadline in the legislature. 74 bills were on the chopping block. Politics Now co-host Patrick Walker traveled to Carson City this week. He has more on what did and did not make it. Lawmakers in the Senate Judiciary Committee saw a quarter of the bills up for the committee deadline. 
Most passed with unanimous consent, but three notable bills drew strong opposition from Republicans. One would set the marriage age at 18. You can engage in sex, uh, sex at 16 or 17, but you can't marry at 16 and 17. Just makes no sense at all to me. Republicans also balked at a ban on the use of private prisons. Then Governor Brian Sandoval vetoed a similar measure in 2017, saying it could potentially handcuff the state's judicial system in the future. I think you can look around the country and examples abound about the problems with uh, these kind of privately run facilities. And a bill restoring voting rights for convicted felons upon completion of their sentences faced the strongest Republican opposition. To restore to someone what they have deprived for permanently from another, uh, I think just goes too far. This is a simple one for me. The more people voting, uh, the better our democracy. Lawmakers failed to take action on a bill that would decriminalize many traffic violations. Assembly Bill 411 would have made most misdemeanor traffic violations, like broken taillights and speeding, into civil offenses, taking potential jail time off the table. And Assembly Bill 291, which includes the often promised bump stock ban, received a waiver, meaning it's eligible for further action for the rest of the session, which ends June 3rd. Patrick Walker, 8 News Now. And the funeral for North Las Vegas Assemblyman Ty Tyrone Thompson was held Saturday. He died while receiving care at a Carson City hospital at the beginning of the month. He was 51 years old. Thompson has been in the legislature since 2013 and was known as a tireless advocate for homeless causes. He was serving his third term in the Assembly. Thompson also volunteered as a court-appointed special advocate for abused and neglected children in the foster care system for nearly 20 years. And changes are coming Monday to a couple of our main freeways. The new HOV lane along I-15 goes into effect tomorrow. There have to be at least two people in the car in order to use that lane. The entire HOV system will be in effect 24 hours, not just during peak driving times. NHP is giving a 30-day grace period on tickets to violators in the HOV lanes. But after June 20th, they'll be handing out the, 20, the $250 tickets. The HOV lanes along the 95 will change to 24 hours a day starting Monday. You can find more information about this on our website, lasvegasnow.com. Next year's Clark County school budget goes before the board Monday. However, there are several things that won't be settled for a while. Funding for teachers, support staff, administrators, police officers, and police administrators won't be finalized until after the legislative session. An amended final budget is due in December. CCSD did say in reference to this budget, quote, substantial reductions and deferrals of requested appropriations were necessary to arrive at a balanced budget with a modest ending fund balance. We will have full coverage of all the numbers as they become finalized. And more than 3,000 students took the stage Saturday to graduate from UNLV. The school held its spring commencement at the Thomas and Mack Center. 86% of graduates are from Nevada. Everyone else comes from 37 states and almost 50 other countries. We spoke to a graduate who received her master's degree in biological sciences, and she encourages young students to always pursue their passions. Make the use of the opportunities that you have, and especially for the young women in the science and just anyone going in the science, we really need them. We need those minds, we need their work ethic, and we need their passion. UNLV has awarded more than 140,000 degrees since 1964. The average overall age of UNLV spring graduates is 27. After the break, a woman out on bail after a deadly shove. Coming up, we'll hear from the DA about a judge's controversial decision to let a woman out of jail. You're watching 8 News Now, the Valley's news leader. Monday. Welcome.